I am uh, working on these uh, smaller pieces of uh, uh, works on paper and I have them all pinned up on the wall like this working on them more or less uh, simultaneously and uh, going from one to the next it's a way I really like to to work it prevents me from getting too precious about each one uh, so I work a bit on one and then move on to the next but one thing that can be challenging uh, about this way of working is that there's a lot of stuff going on around uh, here uh, from previous uh, uh, paintings so um, it can be, sometimes be difficult to decide whether the painting is finished or not. These are not finished yet, but I just want to show you what I do. Um, I have one of these uh, mats that I will put up uh, in front of a painting uh, like this. It kind of isolates the painting from the background and makes it a lot easier to uh, to see and kind of determine whether it's finished or not. So I uh, I really think uh, it helps uh, it helps me a lot to uh, to kind of uh, see um, whether it's uh, balanced if it needs more or not so this is something you might uh, want to uh, employ also if you are just uh, having a pile of paintings uh, on paper you can just kind of put this uh, loose mat around each one and see uh, it makes a big difference uh, just having this uh, very plain border around uh, your work if you want to step into painting looser and making your painting routine more fun and enjoyable, don't forget to download your copy of the free guide, Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. The guide has my top five tips to transform your painting style, so grab your copy of the guide via the link below this video.